returning now to Michael Vassiliadis, chairman of the Industrial Union of Mining, Chemical and Energy. How do you remember your trainee days? So I start up in the, in the 80s. This time we have a lot of apprenticeships, jobs, so there was no problem for young uh, people to, to get in, in, in the job. A bit later, mid 80s, it's changed hard. So we have a, a very long time uh, hard problems in Germany to solve all uh, the, the young people with jobs. And now we have also another problem, the demographic change also comes through. And now we have a situation that we have uh, education necessaries and we have not enough uh, skilled people who get in. So we have to, to bring them together. So it's a special situation in the moment. It, it's tricky. The demographic factor, of course, means that there aren't enough young people uh, yes. coming in anymore. And now we also hear that uh, their education isn't good enough. Actually, in East Germany, almost 12% of today's youngsters leave school mm. without final exams. In West Germany, it's about 7%, still a lot. What's wrong with these kids? This is a scandal at first. This is a scandal if you compare it to, for example, Scandinavian countries. You can see mm. that Germany don't do enough for in this education system to bring them to the necessary skill. On the other hand, uh, it is a very hard increasing uh, job skills necessary in the jobs. So there is a gap. And so we have to invest more in these young people. For example, we have made a contract with our employees, uh, which, depend, uh, which means that we uh, uh, set up one year of education for these people who come out of school and bring them to the necessary skills. And they go through this uh, apprenticeship with a success rate of, of 86%. So you bridge that gap. Uh, but what else is necessary? I mean, when you look around, we live in a globalized world in other countries, especially emerging economies like India, you hear all the time how important a good education is. And here in Germany, we lack behind. How can we compete in terms of know-how? So you have a look, to look a little bit deeper, deeper, deeper um, what, what they mean. So we have in Germany, in average, a very high skilled workers. So this is our advantage. So we have to invest also in the high educated people, like all these countries do in, edu in university education and so on. But we have to invest also in average. And we have done this uh, for, for years. And now there is a gap. And so we have to talk with politics and also with the companies to invest more. It's possible. OK. Michael Vasiliadis, one very last question, very briefly. Watching football during work, is that OK during the World Cup? By rule, not, but you have to talk to your boss and maybe he's also a football fan. Okay, thank you very much for joining us.